What actually activated the Big Bang? Perhaps there was life 16 billion years ago, but we aren't sure yet. What seems certain is that our universe, including the matter in it, was conceived from a massive explosion about 13 billion years ago, theorized by scientists to be the Big Bang. But the big question now is, what actually activated the Big Bang? What made the Big Bang explode? Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will look at what activated the Big Bang. Join us as we go on and stay until the end to find out the age of the universe. How was our universe created? How did it come to be the seemingly vast place we know it to be today? These are some of the questions that have been throbbing in the minds of scientists and philosophers alike since the beginning of time. These questions led to the invention of some pretty wild and interesting theories. Today, the consensus among scientists, astronomers, and cosmologists is that the universe as we know it was created in a massive explosion that not only made the majority of matter, but the physical laws that govern our ever-expanding universe. This consensus was dubbed the Big Bang Theory by astrophysicists. For almost a century, scientists and non-scientists have batted around the term. This reaction should be no surprise, considering how it is the most accepted theory of origin. The basics of the theory are fairly simple. In simple terms, the Big Bang Theory states that all of the current and past matter in the universe came into existence coincidentally about 13 billion years ago. During that time, all matter was compressed into a tiny ball with infinite density and intense heat called a singularity. Suddenly, the singularity began expanding, and the universe we know of began. The Big Bang wasn't like any explosion we might have envisioned it to be. For example, the movement of a hydrogen bomb explosion whose center is at approximately 100 million degrees Celsius through the air is at about 300 meters per second. In contrast, cosmologists believe the Big Bang flung energy in all directions at the speed of light, 300 million meters per second, a million times faster than the hydrogen bomb. They also estimated that the temperature of the universe, a tiny fraction of a second after the explosion, was 1,000 trillion degrees Celsius. Even the bottom of the hottest stars in today's universe is much cooler than that. Another incredible quality of the Big Bang is that it doesn't expand through anything. Unlike the explosion of man-made bombs, which grow through the air, nothing is the factor of the Big Bang expansion. The reason for this can be traced to the absence of space at the beginning of time. Rather, Physicists believe the Big Bang created and stretched space, thereby expanding the universe. As the universe expands, it is also cooling. As matter cooled, the first stars formed slowly, giving off light. Other matter formed onto planets, asteroids, comets, and everything in our universe. Although the Big Bang theory isn't the only modern theory of how the universe came into existence, there is the oscillating universe theory and the steady state theory. It is the most widely accepted theory, thereby most popular. The theory explains the origin of all known matter, the large scale structure of the universe, and the laws of physics. It also accounts for the expansion of our universe and a wide range of other phenomena. The Big Bang, according to scientists and astronomers, is transient. There is no central point. There is nowhere in the sky or land you can point to and say, that's where the Big Bang occurs. Because the Big Bang was everything. It happened on the moon, the sun, and in your bedroom. It just happened everywhere. Also, the universe was only a tiny fraction of a second old at the peach epoch. In fact, it was even thinner than a small fraction, 10 times negative 36 seconds old, or thereabouts. From there on out, we have a decent picture of how the universe works. 
Though some questions are left unanswered, we generally have a vague understanding. In the early universe, gravity started to get very important at small scales, and this is the realm of quantum gravity, the unsolved riddle of modern physics. Even in earlier times, though, our understanding of the universe gets faint. The forces, energies, densities, and temperatures become too high, and the knowledge of physics we have compiled over centuries isn't just enough. A bit earlier than 10 times negative 36 seconds, we don't know the universe. The Big Bang Theory is incredible at giving a good description of everything after that, but before it, we are a bit lost. At that time, even the existence of the word before doesn't make sense. At incredibly tiny scales, I mean thinner than any small thing you could imagine, the quantum nature of reality rears its ugly head at full energy, rendering our neat, orderly, friendly space-time into a broken jungle gym of loops, rusty spikes, and tangles. Scientists' views on intervals in time and space don't work at those scales. In one way or the other, scientists have quenched their curiosity about the origin of the universe with the discovery of the Big Bang. But what of the cause of the Big Bang? Scientists held different notions about this. For instance, in a new paper that was released in November 2019, researchers detailed the mechanism that could cause the Big Bang, which is key for the models that scientists use to understand the origin of the universe. They came across this mechanism while exploring the supersonic reactions for propulsion. The paper defined the essential criteria to drive a flame to self-generate its turbulence, spontaneously accelerate, and transition into detonation. The key is applying the right amount of turbulence and mixing it with an open flame until it becomes self-perpetuating. At this point, the flame begins to burn the ingested energy leading to a hypersonic supernova explosion. Stephen Hawking's notion about the Big Bang is that the universe could be more than one. In his final paper, he said our universe could be a projection of a two-dimensional universe. If this is true, the other universe could have caused the Big Bang. Some scientists believe the Big Bang was more of a big bounce. This notion would imply that our universe is one in multiple universes. In the Big Bounce, our universe keeps expanding until it stops. At some point, it began to decrease, becoming smaller and smaller. The universe returns to the point of singularity. There, it bounces. Then the Big Bang starts again, with a new universe expanding as ours once did. Some other ideas still attempt to describe what activated the Big Bang. They are, however, pure speculation. George Lemaitre proposed the Big Bang Theory, and Edwin Hubble's discovery first supported it. In the 1920s and 30s, Edwin Hubble found out that the universe is expanding, with galaxies moving away from each other at a velocity given by an expression known as Hubble's Law. V equals H asterisk R. In this expression, V represents the galaxy's recessional velocity. R is the distance between its location and the Earth, and h is a constant of proportionality called Hubble's constant. The exact value of the h is somewhat uncertain, but is generally believed to be around 70 kilometers per second for every megaparsec in the distance, kilometer per second per megaparsec. A megaparsec is given by 1 mpc equals 3 times 10 times 6 light years. This expression means that a galaxy of one megaparsec says will be receding at a speed of about 70 kilometers per second, and another galaxy 100 megaparsecs away will be reducing this speed 100 times. So practically, the Hubble constant sets the rate at which the universe is expanding. Since the universe is expanding, we can believe that everything was squeezed into a tiny fragment at a certain point in the past. If we manipulate Hubble's law, we can be able to access the age of the universe through the Hubble constant. The inverse of the Hubble constant has units of time. 
By substituting kilometers for MPC in the Hubble constant, we find that upon inverting H, we get a quantity with units of seconds, kilometers cancelling out in the denominator and numerator. For a Hubble constant of 100 kilometers per second per megaparsec, we get 3 times 10 times 17 seconds or about 10 billion years. This is how we assume the age of the universe, more or less. Trying to explain the origin of the universe is all but simple. However, with our never-ending curiosity and a healthy dose of optimism, the secret of what underlies the universe can be revealed to us. And there it is. Are you a supporter of the Big Bang Theory? Do you think we can find out what really caused the Big Bang? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. See you at the next one. Till then, take care.